Hey everybody, hope you're all doing all right there and welcome to the channel. Subscribe if you are new. If you're not, you'll probably know that in the last couple of years, I completely rebuilt this bike, stripped it down to the frame, repainted it myself in here using rattle cans. And yes, you wouldn't believe how good of a finish that actually is. In all fairness, it probably shouldn't be as good as it is. But anyway, side tracking. And I also recently did some maintenance videos, uh, just going over some basic stuff. And it's now looking absolutely fantastic. And I think you'll agree. And I want to keep it that way. Um, these plastics were gifted to me by Hazeman Motorcycles and Suzuki themselves when I was doing that first rebuild. Um, it was a bit of a thanks to sort of all the things I've done in the past. Really appreciate that. I think they also like the idea of seeing an old bike being loved and brought back to um, to the way it should be. However, these plastics aren't that hard as it were so if you drive through a bush or brambles it gets scratches through it and I don't want to do that but I do want to go green laning so today I need to strip all the bodywork off this bike and uh, put the old stuff back on. Job one is going to be loosening everything off because my rattle gun is weak source and it can't undo this. I'm gonna have to find somewhere safe to put my preciouses. I've also got a plan for something I'm gonna do green laning this year. As you may know, in my area, there isn't a huge amount of green lanes left because they keep closing them. Uh, and it's sometimes tricky to know exactly where, what's going on with the lane at any time or what that lane's like. There are websites out there that have a, a brief guide. Some people have gone to the point of putting photos and telling you about it. But then it rains and it completely changes what the whole thing is like. So I'm going to make a series of videos where I'll basically go to a lane. I'll have all the information there so you can know which lane I'm talking about, the one that I've gone to, and you'll be able to actually see it. And I'll basically tell you what I know about that lane, as in, have I ever had any trouble on it? Are there any particular areas to know about? What's it like in winter versus summer? Handy stuff to know like that. Because I'd love to see more people using the lanes because the more people that use them and use them respectfully and don't annoy people, the more chance we've got of keeping them. Green laning is like the last vestibule of off-road motorcycling. There are areas and parks in the country that you can ride bikes on, but they don't particularly like it, generally. And uh, you always get a lot of trouble from people who, you know, they'll say things like, you can't ride that bike here and you say well actually i can it's completely legal what are you talking about no you can't i've said so the classic it's illegal to ride here no it isn't do you live locally by the way yes i live next to the lane i hate you bikes making noise right well don't move in next to a green lane then i'm saying be warned with green laning the potential for karens is uh high i want to take your face off Right, I'm not going to be able to remove the fork protectors because the old ones I had to drill out and re-rivet bracketry from the old ones to the new ones and I'd have to reverse that and that, oh, those I can, the, these I can replace if I really needed to, but to be fair, the, the, they're going to get mullered anyway and the old ones don't look too bad, so that'll have to be, there we go, so there you go, all the plastics are off. I have just realized there is absolutely no reason I couldn't ride this bike like this. Do you know what? I'm having a nightmare today. My GoPro battery, which has been sat in the uh, charging dock for three days, wasn't charged because I hadn't pushed it down slightly. And the battery, which said it was fully charged when I left, is now saying it's completely empty. If I don't look down, it feels exactly the same. It doesn't feel that much lighter. It does sound different because you can hear the engine. It's not being um, muffled by the bodywork so much. What's he got? like a whole piece of bacon or something. Kinda jealous. Kinda hungry myself. This has proved one thing though, one of my rattles is not the, um, the, 
bodywork, I kind of need to hold them both still at the same time. What if I hold both of them with my feet? No! What is it? What is it that's rattling? It's the headlight! Okay. We know we need to look at something on the headlight then. Yeah, it is. Right, well, enough messing around. Let's get this thing back together. I've just realized how filthy the old fairings are. I'm not doing like some actual washing job on this. So I'm just gonna spray it with some protectant spray and wipe it off. <laughs> there was actually a real reason why I was going on that ride with out the plastics and it was to try and find that rattle because I thought it was my indicator relay hitting against the headlight surround it wasn't I thought it was these rattling around it wasn't it was the headlight rattling inside the metal frame and I've basically shoved the wiring behind it better and now it doesn't move and if you've got a keen eye on you and I wouldn't expect all of you to notice this but there is cow print on this bike again <laughs> This is actually gonna be kind of weird because this bike's gonna look like it did before I did all that work to it. If you can see here, there's big deep scratches. That's the sort of thing that happens. Got like how that protectant spray is kind of slowly melting the dirt. I need to give this a wash. So there we go, Derek is all back together and he looks like the battered piece of crap that he was before, apart from doesn't have all the rust now, which is still a plus. Um, but these fairings, they might look okay on camera, they are haggard. Every single square inch of them is scratched and scuffed and yeah, they're not great. But who cares about that? We're gonna take this green lining. So if you'd like to see some green lining videos coming soon-ish, uh, then subscribe, like this video and maybe consider joining my Patreon or YouTube memberships to help support me in doing that. Uh, otherwise, to the next one. Bye-bye.